What is up everyone, my name is Cody, and I've got a Windows tutorial, uh, it's also going to be uh, with Sony Vegas, uh, I am going to be doing it with uh, Sony Vegas Pro 10, but I'm pretty sure you can do it, uh, at least back to 8, I, I don't know if, I don't even remember 7, I might have had 7, uh, the first version I got was in 2008, and it worked, uh, so if you have something older than that, I mean, you, you should really upgrade, <laughs> uh, but anyways, I've got Sony Vegas uh, Pro 10, so if uh, anything looks different, or if I have a couple more effects than you, which I don't think I will. Uh, I think Pro 10 is just you know, just cool to sound like you have the cool, the newest one. But anyways, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to um, use masking to its full advantage. Like uh, pretty much just use masking, I guess, in general. And then uh, also, what I'm going to be really focusing on is how to use it in a transition, like I did in my past video. Um, if you didn't see it uh, if you just go to old st or kicking it old school uh, three it should be right there I'm pretty sure that my uh, this computer has a driver in it so that you can hear oh, shoot wrong thing oh well this word so that you can hear I was looking for so that you can hear stuff that isn't playing in my mic which is actually really cool uh, because my uh, my Mac does not have that so if I have my volume down or something, it, it doesn't hear it. Alright, anyways, I'm just, you guys should be able to hear that if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go to 50, because that's where the effect happens. And uh, you will see the, the little transition. That was pretty much it. Um, As you saw... Um, it brought in many different uh, sections, well actually three different sections of the, uh, you know, right here, here comes in one, like the window, Leads to no. the bottom slides in, and then the top is going to slide in, and then it go the clip starts moving. I'm pretty much just going to be showing you guys how to do that, which is actually very simple, um, but once you get the hang of it, yeah, it can be used for many different things. Uh, so, I hope to show you guys this, and then uh, hopefully we can... Uh, Hopefully this will help you. That's that's what I meant to say. Okay. Um, go and get my sweet quad feed. Uh, but anyways, we're going to want to... I'm pretty sure I got it before this. Yeah, there it is. Um, if you didn't know, guys, I'm not sure how uh, much... Like, how basic I need to be with Sony Vegas. Because I am primarily a Mac um, channel. But anyways, um, you guys can either right-click and go to... Split. It should be. It should say split clip somewhere, but it doesn't. Um, so we're gonna wanna uh, make this little thing go right over what we want. Well, that sounds weird. And then press S, which splits it. Right click. We're gonna cut, or you can also press Command X to cut. Um, and then we're gonna go right after the clip and then cut it uh, because we don't want a bunch of extra crap to mess with. Uh, when in return, we can just have this little tiny clip. All right, and then we're going to just have it let, right now I'm, I'm deciding where I want this to be at um, I will I wanna have something that has like a bunch of defined points um, I think what would be cool is if when I'm jumping up here into the window um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of something completely different right now hang on I'm sorry um, this might work right here All right, let's, let's check this out so this looks uh, one thing I'm gonna want to do, um, as you can see, it looks all blurry. We're gonna want to right-click and disable resample, uh, right there. Click OK, and it looks all nice. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna. I'm gonna go right here. That'll be fine, um, because then I can, you know, have I'll have the bottom come in or, and then they, like split it off or something like that. I don't know. Um, oh shoot, I forgot to split it. Whoops. All right, let's let's come down to it. All right. Um, you know what? That that works right there. P beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and split it right there. Cut, and then uh, we're gonna want to go ahead and create some extra video layers uh, because we're gonna need them. Um, I'm gonna end up only making two different, um, you know, sections of this mask. Pretty much, how many sections you're gonna have is how many extra video layers you need. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get to the f very furthest frame that you can find on this. You don't want it uh, 
it's not really a big deal, but you don't really want it to be a frame that is not the very last because uh, then it just looks unprofessional and you know it looks like it's going backwards in time almost. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, save the snapshot to a file. Image seven, you can rename it if you want. Uh, it's really no big deal to me. I'm not really using this project for anything, but I, I advise you guys to stay uh, as all right, five seconds. That's that's a good time. Now let's uh, let's have a about a three second transition. That sounds good. All right, and then that's when we're gonna want to bring it back in. All right, but by the way, I'm zooming in. I'm up and up and down on the arrow keys. You know, right there, it zooms in, zooms out. Um, but all right, and then we're gonna want to go to the very beginning on this and uh, go ahead and create another image. This is gonna be image eight. Go ahead and drag it right up here, uh, right to the beginning of that. And we want to end it as soon as this one ends too. Uh, so then, you know, it it just comes right back in and, and starts moving like like so. All right. Um, but anyways, we're gonna want to go ahead and click Advent Pan Crop. Uh, right down here, it's kind of hidden. Go down to Mask. Make sure you check that. And then we're gonna want to go ahead and uh, start our mask. Make sure. What I do is I make this as big as I can so that the mask uh, can be as you know as clean as possible. Uh, we're gonna want to go ahead and move this around. I think I'll just make this in two sections. Just right. Th uh, um, yeah, right. Make this like sky, and then like the building and other stuff can be in the other. Uh, in the other layer. Alright, so we're gonna wanna go ahead and start marking these up. Now you can watch me do this or not. I don't I don't really care. This is gonna be pretty sloppy. Uh, but make sure uh, you know that the more points that you do is uh, pretty much gonna be the cleaner that it is. Um, anytime it really isn't straight isn't oh shoot. Isn't a straight line you're gonna wanna make a new one. You know, to to adjust all the turns and curves uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just uh, you know finish it up just like that that that's fine it's just for tutorial and I'm pretty sure you guys know what's going on uh, but anyways so like I said these different video layers uh, this one right here as you can see it came in right here that's what is gonna be sliding in or not gonna be sliding in um, right now it is gonna be sliding in because obviously that's what you can see and the reason that is uh, is because we have that selected on positive um, where if you're only using two different things you can just do positive and negative and just flip them and use two different layers I'm sorry if I'm losing some of you guys um, but it's actually a very easy concept once you get a hang of it um, if you just follow what I'm doing I'm sure you'll figure it out um, after doing it a couple times but watch as I uh, flip it to negative you'll see that this will be the spot that you don't see and then all the other will be filled in uh, we're gonna go ahead and flip to negative and it is exactly as I said and that actually looks pretty freaking sweet, I think. Um, so we're going to go ahead and keep it on negative because that's, uh, I want the bottom to slide in first and then the top to come in uh, just because I think that would look better. Um, so anyways, if you guys don't know what keyframes are, that's what we're going to be using here. Uh, I'm sorry that I didn't come out with any keyframe tutorials. Um, and I'm talking very fast right now. Uh, so anyways, we're going to want to uh, go down. Uh, let's, I guess we'll have it slide straight up. How does that sound? We're gonna just want to go straight up with it, okay? And then that automatically sets a keyframe for it. And then we're gonna want to go ahead to, let's go ahead to about a second. And then, oh, seconds back, a second and ten seconds. How's that? Wow, a minute, a second and ten milliseconds. How's that? All right. And then we're gonna right click and click restore, and it's gonna be there. And then what that keyframe does is, um, see, right here it's in, right here it's not. So it's going to gradually work its way in from that point. It's going to go ahead and slide in. And you can make this look more realistic by feathering it and other stuff as you saw in there. Nothing has to be 100%. Um, well, that almost lines up right with that B. Um, but nothing has to be 100% the way I'm doing it. So feel free to change anything you want. Um, and don't, don't think that you have to you know, uh, do exactly what I do. So go ahead and uh, paste it right up here. And you've got to remember when you do paste it, um, it it does paste everything. You got to realize that it pastes every single thing uh, that you do. So all those keyframes are now saved, which is actually uh, not keyframes. I'm sorry, um, mask points are actually saved. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and down here to mask, and we're gonna flip it to positive. So then it's just that part coming in, and um, and then we're gonna want to reset our uh, our keyframes. Go ahead and right click and delete them. Uh, this one doesn't want to be deleted right now for some reason. I think you have to be off of it. 
Oh, that's just a normal point. Um, that can stay because that's where we're gonna want it at the, at the very end. All right, sorry about that. Um, we're gonna want it to come in from the top, so we're gonna want to pull it down to the bottom. Wait, what's going on? Shoot, I I keep forgetting to clear all of my my mass points. See, I'm having just as much problems uh, making sure that it's on the right thing. We're gonna go ahead and flip it to positive again because I forgot. Sorry about that. Okay. And as you can see, it, it is lifting up just as we wanted it to. Uh, go ahead to position. Uh, pull it all the way down like uh, we were going to. Alright. And now it should be back to normal just like that. Alright, so. If we pull it down here. Alright. Now this uh, should have provided the effect that we wanted. That comes, that comes right in the screen. Boom, 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 boom. And then the other one should be sliding down any second now. I think it's either late or I'm lagging. Yeah, it was just, it was just I'm lagging. Um, so that's pretty much the effect that we were going for right there. I'm going to turn it on uh, draft so that we can uh, go ahead and, and see how this looks. And that is pretty much the effect right there. You can go ahead and add sound effects, add music, add whatever you want, and um, it will look nice either way. But uh, that's pretty much uh, the basics on masking. If you guys want to see anything else, I can go into depth with uh, keyframing. Anything, guys, I can do it. Um, not really, I can't do anything. But um, I had this program for quite a while. Uh, one of my buddies actually uh, helped me out. His name was XX Chris Bone XX. I'm not sure if any of you guys know him, but he's actually a very good editor. And he helped me out um, the first day I got this. I was a squeaker, and I uh, thank him so much for helping me out. Uh, he helped me out even like telling me what sizes were. Like I didn't even know why you had to. You know, this was my first time ever capturing with anything. I didn't know that you needed sizes. I thought you could just like save it as something. I didn't know you needed to make it 1280 by 720 for HD. Like 840 by 480 or something for standard def. Um, but anyways, guys, that is my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys want anything else, Windows or Sony or Mac or Apple or iMovie or Final Cut or uh, After Effects, anything, let me know, and I will uh, be sure to help you guys out. And um, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.